Why am I such a prick? You know, probably because I haven't had a good burger in a while. <laughs> good answer. <laughs> I read the sacred text of Argos. He wants to merge the universes together. After I heard he could remember things from Earth 7, I knew he was the most powerful psychic mind in the multiverse. How do you possibly think you can defy the will of the multiverse? We will all be equal! We will all be Argos! Smile, though your heart is aching, smile. Even though it's breaking When there are clouds in the sky You'll get by if you smile To your fear and sorrow smile And maybe tomorrow I might just be forced to excommunicate you You motherfucker set us up! Looks like this deal's fucking over! We kill a god based on multiversal chaos. You'll be a hero. You want to be my backup on this? I know you're good with a gun. Well, that was a pretty good trailer, wasn't it? But you know what time it is. It is now time for a trailer breakdown. We begin with a very obvious piece of stock footage. Yes, the directors of Dragon Wayne, Patrick Morahan, and Maximus Papsidor are very visionary, but they are not nearly as visionary to create such beautiful beautiful imagery. Next, we get a shot of two people sitting around a fire. It is in this shot that we can examine some of Morahan and Papsidor's other influences, especially in this scene, the first three episodes of Game of Thrones season eight, the final season, because you can see literally jack shit, only lit by natural light. Now that that is true filmmaking right there. You know, I'm surprised that this scene even made it in the final cut of the series because it's very obvious that Drake and Wayne are not social distancing. And it would appear as if Morahan and Papsidor have a little bit of a foot fetish as we see Drake and Wayne's uh, feet, a close-up on Drake and Wayne's feet as the villain Argos Blade, played by Satria Knight, emerges from bushes, so now we know that the directors both have a feet fetish, an Argos fetish, and a bush fetish. This little tidbit is from Drake and Wayne's cover of I'm Not Crying, a song originally created by the comedy uh, group Flight of the Concords. Now, of course, the title is a blatant lie because Drake here obviously is crying. Watch the full video to, uh, to see uh, more lies. Now, seeing Drake and Wayne just walk down a hallway like this really gets me going. And of course, if you look in the uh, bottom right corner, you might be able to get a small glimpse of a 3D Soviet Union national flag. Miraculously, they managed to get the moment when Gore Krenis, portrayed by Ryan Hall, actually becomes the sex offender. I've survived getting shot in the balls before. Haven't all of you? Ugh. Oh. Wayne, oh, Wayne, oh, Drake, oh my god, oh, 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 come on, you, you, you guys just aren't playing fair here, come on! Honestly, the MVPD graduation here just looks like a lot of fun, you know, a little cool behind-the-scenes tidbit. This scene was actually filmed at the Katuit Center for the Arts, 
And uh, let me just say, the set here is fantastic. I'm not even trying to make a joke. I mean, I don't know if it was for a play or if they built it specifically for this. But, I mean, come on, just look at this shit, man. This is Marques Drain and Larry Wake, the doppelgangers of Drake and Wayne. And let me just say, the costume budget for this show must have been off the charts. Mr. Bishop gets a look at himself in the mirror. If only all of us could be as sexy as you, my sweet prince. The superintendent, played by Cade Barrera, looks very badass here. And I have to say, Cade Barrera is the only reason I'm watching this show. I must confess that Cade Barrera is the only thing that's pulling me to Drake and Wayne. You know, not the story elements, or the other actors, or anything else. Cade Barrera and Cade Barrera only. I must say that this trailer is set to the tune of the song Smile, and uh, as of yet we have not seen anyone truly smile. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Mr. Krennis. Thank you. Thank you for this. We needed a smile. Oh, and Richard D. Johnson as well. Thank goodness there is all these smiles here. I was, you know, going on thinking this was a serious drama, but now that we have smiles, all of those fears have gone away. Hello, Kermit the Frog here. I know my impression sucks, but I'm in Drake and Wayne, and you all should watch it. Plus, catch the live-action Muppets unscripted series coming to Disney Plus in uh, July, I think. I'm not sure. You know, usually they just uh, they just throw money at me and I sing Rainbow Connection or some shit. Uh, but yes, uh, I will go back to being the entertainment reporter here, uh, breaking down this dumbass trailer. The aptly named Daniel Hyannis looks ready to kill some bitches, and whoa, it looks like a, an unfair Mexican standoff is happening here. Okay, what, 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 what even is this? I mean, I'm sorry, they are paying me nothing to do this, I'm doing this of my own free will, and they just slap me with this shit and tell me to break it down, to analyze it? What the hell am I supposed to say? This makes no goddamn sense. But I'm gonna break it down anyway. Alright, so Drake is wearing a frog costume, and that obviously means there are gonna be frogs in the show. He's chasing Gore Krennis, who is dressed like a pimp, which means there's gonna be a lot of sex and nudity. Watch out, Game of Thrones. And uh, Wayne is there too, which means that uh, Drake and Wayne will both be in this series uh, that is named after them. So, uh, you know, thank God you have me to break, you know, the stuff down, right? I'm gonna go in a corner and cry. <laughs> okay, I'm back, and I'm all good now. I think. Alright, on the screen, it looks like an MVPD officer is in trouble. Perhaps he's about to die. My fish died last week. Very sad, very, very sad. I cried. <laughs> I cried a lot. Can't let it distract me. Don't let it distract me. You're trying to break down this Drake and Wayne trailer. I want to break it down the Drake and Wayne trailer. Come on, Rob. Come on. Come on. Come on. An MVPD robot fights a larger than life Gore Krennis. And this, this shot is just very interesting to me because you can see the sky in the background and you can see some letters on the robot's chest. M V. Now, bear with me, bear with me, I think it's just a theory, it might be way out there, but, it, but I just think that the letter next to the P is in fact a D, and that robot actually belongs to the Multiversal Police Department. Yes, I know, it's a very radical theory, but you know, it's very possible. The villain of the series, played by Satrian Knight, looks out with a backdrop of some distant planets and a red sky. I'm not even joking around with you guys. This this is my favorite shot in, in the trailer. It's it's just so well put together. The green screen is so good, and Satrian Knight just looks so badass. And God, I can't wait for this series. This shot looks uh, something like Drake being possessed by something. His eyes are glowing very blue. As a voiceover plays, if we kill a god based on multiversal chaos, you'll be a hero. I don't know what this means, but I do know that in this next shot, Wayne looks sad as fuck. This next shot appears to be of Dr. Somnus, played by Oshin Hopkins. 
Dr. Somnus is the creator of the device known as the Dreamscaper, and in an interview, Patrick Morahan described Dr. Somnus as sort of a monotone, dull kind of guy. Well, honestly, I don't know what he's talking about. This Dr. Somnus guy looks like the life of the party. God, I gotta sue this show. I gotta sue these creators, Maximus Pepster and Patrick Morahan, for their all-too-sexy portrayals of the main characters. God damn it! Somehow, Max Papsidor and Patrick Morahan got exclusive footage from 1978's Cinema Rex Fire in Iran. <laughs> what the hell does this guy think he is? Walking in front of the flames in a friggin' like wizard uniform? I mean, like, what is he, like the main villain? The secret villain? You know, like the actual villain behind Argo's Blade? <laughs> yeah, sure. And we get the iconic logo. Or at least it's not in papyrus like the Avatar logo. This friggin' screen is a bold-faced lie. Drake and White is premiering May 31st, not June 2020. <laughs> Max Papsidor and Patrick Morahan are now guilty of so many things. Lying to us, being too sexy for their shirts. I mean, come on, guys. Like, we cannot stand for this. We have to fight. We have to rise up! 